Hi everyone. We're going to do a conic sections review. These are good questions that are on AP exams or placement exams for college. So um, this is the question. We have uh, four problems here and they just want to know what kind of conic is represented by the equation. And I already did a bunch of videos on um, preliminary. So th again, this is just a review. I know this is hyperbola because it's negative here, and both of these are square. So um, it can't be a, par it's either a parabola or a hyperbola, but since they're both squares, it's a parabola. So now I'm going to complete the square and change it to conic form and then simply find the center. So as long as you can um, complete the square, we're good with this. So I'm going to group my x's together. And go ahead and I call this a box, or you put it, call it a square, and then I'm going to group my y's to squit together. Don't forget, this is going to be minus six y because we're putting this in parentheses here. And then this, we're going to move the constant over. So, and I'm going to move it up here for room's sake. Now I have to add this box to this side. And I have to subtract, uh, let's do this blue, this box from here, because it's minus 1 times this. Okay, so I complete the square. I take half of my b, which is 8, 4 squared, and you get 16. Take half of the negative 6, which is going to be negative 3 squared, and you get 9. And I'm going to put these values in. So 16 goes in the green and 9 goes in the blue. And when you subtract this out, you're going to get, um, this is 10 minus 9 is 1. So this side equals 1. Now, I'm going to um, put this together. Um, so this is x. My, these are my perfect square trinomials. That's why we did this. x, take this part and then half of your b, which is 4, squared minus y, min and take this, half of uh, 6 is 3, squared, and this equals 1, okay? Now, you divide everything by 1, so I'm going to divide everything by 1, and there's your hyperbola, and all they're asking for is the center, and the center is just like from your circle. It's going to, you know, it's your x minus h squared minus y minus k squared over your a squared over b squared equals 1. Okay, so my h is negative 4 and my b is 3. And that is your center and that's all you have to do on that problem. Okay, the next one is um, write the equation of a parabola. And I find when, and to, especially doing parabolas, there's so much information on them that I tend to sketch a graph while I'm doing it so I don't make any mistakes because we have to find all this stuff, the vertex, directrix, focus, and the line of symmetry. So since x is starting here, it's y squared, I know this is going to open uh, left or right. In this case, it's going to be right. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the square and put this in uh, con standard form for the conic parabola. I'm going to write x. I'm going to subtract my 14 minus 14 equals y squared minus 6y. Now to complete the square, I'm going to put my boxes on both sides or squares. And you should know basically that uh, when you complete the square, you take half of that, square it, and you get 9. So you're adding 9 to both sides. And I combine this, I get x minus 5 equals y minus half of 6 is 3 squared. And uh, most, um, this is perfectly fine, but most people write it the square on this side, which is no big deal. 
So I know my um, vertex is going to be at 5, comma, 3. So that's your vertex. I already plotted it here. Um, my directrix and uh, focus has to do with the A. And my A here, this, the standard form for a parabola in this case would be um, Y minus H squared equals 4A X minus K or H. Or this is uh, H. This would be K. Sorry. So basically, I need to find my A. So I have 4A equals 1. Like I said, you should have already watched uh, the preliminary videos before the review. So A is 1 fourth. So I'm simply going to um, add 1 fourth right here for my focus. So I'm adding 1 fourth to the uh, 3. So that's 5. No, it's to the, yeah, to the 5. So I'm getting the wrong thing. Okay, so so you're adding 1 fourth here. And then you just write your 3. Because we're staying on the 3 here. Okay? That's your focus. Your directrix is going to be y. There's going to be x equals 5 minus 1 fourth. Okay, which is right here. I draw the line here. So this is my sketch of it here. Now my X line of symmetry is Y equals three. Because I can fold up there. Now you can simplify this and this is five and one fourth. And you know that this should be four and three fourths. Or use your calculator and do it. Okay? The next problem is uh, find the eccentricity of the conic represented by the equation. Uh, we know this is um, ellipse, and the eccentricity is C over A. We also know that we get C from using C squared equals A squared minus B squared. We also know that the bigger number is your A squared. <coughs> So C squared is 25. Wait, and um, so C is plus or minus 5. We're just going to use the 5, the positive 5. We know A is the square root of 169, which is plus or minus um, 13. So it's just going to be our eccentricity is 5 over 13, and if you recall, eccentricity represents the flatness. Okay, we can do one more. Um, these darn pesty uh, parabolas. Okay, just by the form, and again, this is from previous videos, uh, I know this opens down, um, and I my vertex is at negative 2, comma, 5. I already drew this here just to make sure I had room to write all this on, on here. Now, your focus comes from your C, so let's put it over here. So C squared equals um, Okay, your, your focus comes from the A, and this part right here is your 4A. So you set this to 4A and you're going to get negative uh, 4a equals negative 8, so a equals 2. And so therefore, all you're going to do is you take your focus, and we're going to add it to the, or subtract it, uh, 5 minus 2 to get the focus here. And your directrix is just going to be uh, y equals 5 plus 2. Remember, your, your vertex is the midpoint between the directrix and the focus. There's your fo 
something like that. Okay? Your line of symmetry is right here, which is just x equals negative 2. We get that from here. And did we leave anything out? Okay, so basically the directrix is just y equals 7. And the focus, if I simplify that, is negative 2 comma 3. Okay, there's going to be a part 2 of the conics. And um, we're going to have one ellipse, two hyperbolas, and one circle. And that's all. Thank you.